Pokemon. Hello. Yeah, uh, no, it doesn't work. Fuck it, I'm leaving it in. We're back, everybody, for more My Hero Academia. We're almost to the end of Season 5. I'm starting to uh, really enjoy where this is going. Because um, it's picking up a little bit in its pace. Uh, we had some nice stuff with Endeavor and his family last time. An interesting villain. We got to see the kids be awesome. Um, and, uh, was that it? <laughs> pretty much? Yeah, I think that was pretty much it. Um, the only thing I didn't like was the ending of it, but maybe it'll get better later on. I don't know. <laughs> um, but for right now, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's fine. Um, so yeah, we've got more episodes to watch, 19 and 20. I don't really know what to expect for this one, uh, because we kind of finished up a little bit of a mini arc last time. I'm, there's only, hmm, let's see, 19, 20, uh, okay, so there's still seven episodes left, counting these two. So it's not impossible for us to uh, get through all of the uh, Meta Liberation stuff and the villain arc, but both arcs have to be real short. I don't know if I'd like that, but uh, I suppose I'd rather have them short than dragged out, so... Yeah, uh... Obviously, uh, well... Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be doing the Metal Liberation thing first, so... Let's get through it. Uh, I did get a comment on the last video saying, Hey, you know, the next couple episodes are supposedly going to be pretty awesome, so... My expectations are a little bit elevated, you yeah? <laughs> know? Let's, let's see something really cool. Oh, um... Yeah, let's just get to it. Starting in... Three... Two... One. Well, <laughs> that was really cool. Um, best set for a while, I'd say, overall. Uh... Okay, so 19, 19 really wasn't the start or finish of anything, or like it, it was its own standalone episode pretty much. Um, it didn't connect really to anything that happened before it, and it didn't really lead into episode 20 in any kind of way, so um, that's a little bit disappointing, but I guess that has to happen at some point. Uh, hopefully it'll connect back to things later. Um, but yeah, man, that's a, that's a lot to take in. Uh, so, all the Nomus are basically zombies. They were built on dead bodies. And some of them managed to retain parts of their original personality. And some of them actually managed to be quite articulate, <laughs> in the case of Kur Kurogiri. Um... Kurogiri, though, seems a little bit different. Whereas all the other Nomus are just like, let's pile as many quirks into one body as we can and make this monstrous, nearly invincible fighter. Kurogiri more like seems to be, uh... Seems to be an experiment to see if they can create a quirk that will do exactly what they want it to. Rather than, uh combining quirks of different effects, they combine quirks that are similar and try and make something that's just, like, better. And in the case of Kurogiri, yeah, they <laughs> made a warp gate, which is far and above beyond anything that we've ever seen before, seen otherwise in terms of transportation quirks. Um, even all for one's own uh, warping quirk is uh, not nearly as potent as Kurogiri's in terms of its abilities. Um, and yeah, we saw it again here. So apparently they can copy quirks as well. Um, not just... It's not an all-or-nothing all, all or nothing, uh, transfer 
necessarily. They can they can copy quirks as well, um, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. Quirks are just DNA part of like they they have to have like a DNA component. So, um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And the doctor, <laughs> I wonder what other quirks that little freaky Nomu thing in, that he was using has because uh, it seemed like he was using it as like a organic technology so that's pretty interesting um, but yeah no uh, Kurogiri used to be their friend that's that's fucked up uh, I, I, I heard about uh, that one of the ones from Hosu that uh, Endeavor roasted I, the, the, the winged one I heard that one used to actually be uh Bakugo's friend there from when he was just a little kid um, which is fucked up <laughs> but I, in, honestly I mean in this case uh, it's worse um, <laughs> yeah. so yeah uh, and so that was even before the ending of season 4 right there that's a long time ago <laughs> Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. All things considered, yeah, nineteen was a very intense episode, and God. Them. Yeah, that must be the first time we've ever seen Aizawa cry. And God, yeah, that was. Just wow. His eyes are dried out, but he's still crying. Fucking. I bet Aizawa gives good hugs. <laughs> I just thought of that because, like, I was, I was thinking, like, man, he deserves a hug right now. And it was just like, I, we've seen him, like, give hugs to a lot of characters, so, like, I feel like he probably gives really good hugs. Um, but yeah. And I know a lot of people don't like Aizawa, or at least they didn't like him in the beginning, um, which I can understand. He he comes across as very, very sour, very jerkish at times. Um, <laughs> but like, <laughs> he really is just a big old softy. His me- his methods are are harsh at times, but, like, he's always trying to do right by his students. He really is just their dad, and it's awesome. Um, but now we know why, and that's just awful, heartbreaking. Like, rude! <sighs> Quiet vehicles are, should be mandated by law. Um... Hear that, or fucking, like, soundproof walls should be mandated by law. There's a lot of things that should be mandated by law. Anyways, um... (laughs) Moving on, though. We have the start of a new arc! The villain arc that I knew was coming! I didn't know it was coming this soon, though! I thought that was, like, the last thing in this season. Which it still might be, but, like... Yeah, no, that that was a good start to it. Um... Okay, so... After Kurogiri failed to bring back Gigantamachia, they went out to find him, immediately started fighting him, got summoned to see the doctor, basically got told that, yeah, you know, you guys are a bunch of punks who haven't proven any, who haven't proven yourself capable of anything, really, at this point. Um, <laughs> we got some backstory on, on Shigaraki. Uh, we got, uh, the doctor being like, yeah, I'll help you if you can tame Gigantamachia, which is, like, almost impossible. <laughs> um, though he is already, he did already uh, lend out a Nomu to Dobby, tying back into the season four finale. Um, and then we got this Liberation Army thing. We brought back Giren, who, again, we have not seen that guy since... God, season two? I... <sighs> Yeah, it's been forever. Like, I I genuinely forgot about that guy until uh, now. (laughs) Um, 
but yeah, I, I remember him. He was the he was like the arms dealer for the underground that uh, was working with the league for a while. Um, he he's the one that brought Toga and twice to uh, or not twice uh, Toga and Dobby to Shigaraki. And that was a pretty that was a pretty good thing of him, I guess. <laughs> you know, for the bad guys. Um, and apparently he also helped twice. So yeah, no, they got they got to save this guy. <laughs> Save being a odd word to use here. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, man. Imagine... Imagine a world where Aerie, like, learned to control her quirk and grew up with that trauma, just like Tomura did. Like, she could easily have turned out like him. God damn. That's fucked up. Um, Because, I mean, it is basically the same situation of they killed someone, they killed their family by accident because of their mutated quirk manifesting. Um, And yeah, we could see... uh, his family looked like uh, Nana Shima, so proving without a doubt that they are in fact related. God. Um. What the fuck, though? It's it's so weird that there's like twelve hands there, and they only said. Uh, I, th- I thought they only said father and sibling, but maybe they said siblings. So, still, it's hands from six people. It's kind of that, that's really fucking messed up, right there. That those are actually his family hanging on to him. Uh, God. Um, and then. Fucking, uh... Yeah, the the Liberation Army, though. Um, They're basically issuing a challenge. And I'm just sitting here like, you fucking retard. Okay, that... that, Okay, I'm I'm sorry. No, I'm not supposed to use that word. But that is the first thing that that came into my mind right there. Because just, like... How stupid can you be? Do they not remember what he did to fucking... Uh, the fucking well. Obviously, they know what he did to fucking Chisaki, but like, how do you see that and then like just underestimate him, the protege of one for all? <laughs> like these guys. Obviously, they're not dead yet because they're still working towards something, but. Shiraki's gonna show them. <laughs> and I kind of... You know, honestly, when it comes time for the big confrontation between uh, the Meta Liberation Army and the heroes, I kind of want Shigaraki to just swoop in and steal the win. I, I kind of want him to just swoop in and be like, no, fuck you, these guys are the ones who challenged me and my crew, and they looked down on us, and they fucked us up a little bit. We're gonna fuck them up and just kill them all. <laughs> I kinda want that. Just to just to prove that he's still the bigger fish in the pond. He's the one that everybody should be afraid of. I want him to do that, and I want him to do it in public so that way, you know, they know. They know that it was him. <laughs> um, I just think that would be really cool, and also just like uh really satisfying um but uh i don't know if that's actually going to happen i'm i'm not going to get my hopes up for it i i want it to happen but I, if it doesn't i'll understand um <laughs> yeah so yeah cool set i'm really looking forward to this arc and uh yeah <laughs> we've got uh Got a lot to look forward to. Um, so yeah, better set than 
last couple. Um, I think that's going to be it for this time. So, until next time, see y'all later. Bye-bye.